Hi guys, uh, my name is John Arif and welcome to my shop. And today I just want to talk about hand planer and I will show you how I uh, tune up and line up the hand planer. I'm not a big fan of this uh, hand planer tool because I hate uh, planing with my hand. So that's why I never use this electric hand planer using with my hands. So I just make them as a jig for my uh, jointer, so this hand planer. Turns out it's not my fault why every time I plane with my uh, electric hand planer, I never had a good result on my work object. So uh, I will tell you in a minute. Uh, but now the question is, have you checked your hand planer? Is that as straight as you think? Okay then, let's go check it. Okay, to line up your hand planer, you need uh, something straight like this uh, square combination that I have. You can use anything that is flat and straight. So like you can see, I line up the front uh, base and the back base plate for this hand planer. Uh, you can see the gap for the adjuster front, front base plate is uh, different. I have two planer with a different defect but don't worry nothing that I cannot fix okay guys uh, like you can see for this brand is have this uh, front end lower than this the back end so uh, the the result on your planning is you going to have a snipe on this end and this end and in this case is this uh, back end is lower than the front end so you will have lower cut on this uh, middle of your work object so these two is have a different different uh, kind of uh, defect so okay then uh, let me show you what inside of this uh, adjuster Okay, for this uh, front base mechanism, it's actually is a uh, very simple mechanism. Like you can see, there is a hole, piston, and the spring, also the locking uh, nut and bolt. So like this, this one is 90 degree angle for the base plate and the piston. I think I need to check this uh, setup. I hope this is a uh, tight fit and no wobble yeah it's a tight fit I think is uh, the structure the casting for this angle is not right from the beginning okay then okay like you can see this one is a little bit different they have the same system but the angle is different like you can see it's not 90 degree they have a, a different angle for this but that is actually it's uh, it's the same it's um, no different between the uh, the straight 90 degree and the came with a different angle the next step is I'm going to uh, fix this but first I have to uh, take this uh, knife off okay looks this uh, planner have a uh, old style of uh, adjusting for the knife the next step I prepare this uh, piece of a uh, glass and after that I just add this uh, double side tape and I add on top of this uh, glass this is going to attach my uh, sandpaper with this uh, glass and I use uh, 400 grit and 800 grit for this uh, process okay like you can see I have two different grit for this uh, process and the next step I'm going to lock this uh, position and 
start uh, sending my uh, planar base plate okay on this sending process you always going to look how deep is your sending process is because uh, you need to adjust the front base for the depth so it's going to be equal between the front base adjuster and the back base plate okay after scrubbing with the first grid <coughs> the rough grid now we're going to continue with the softer grid this is I'm using a 800 because uh, we just going to just smooth it because already achieved the the flatness uh, between the front and the back base okay it's already lined up straight between the adjuster front base plate and the back base plate for this planer okay the next step i'm going to calibrate the blade so before i attach the blade i have to calibrate because the blade had to be lined up with the base back base plate and this is uh, the old style blade so uh, the adjuster is just like so this is going to insert inside the groove on this uh, cutter head because this is the blade bracket and we're going to adjust through this uh, bracket the adjuster is you can see that uh, two screw bolt okay the next step we're going to add this m6 bolt at the center we only just uh, going to give it one bolt because this uh, for the holder temporary holder so we don't need to add the blade cover yet because in this uh, adjusting we only going to uh, hold this place for temporary and we still use this uh, steel ruler to adjusting the blade height so uh okay the blade is only going to touch is not lift the the steel ruler so it just have to be touch not lift the ruler so if uh, the blade is lifting the ruler so uh, the blade is too high so uh, the ruler is going to uh, line up with the back base plate and the blade also have to line up with the back base plate using this ruler okay like you can see here the right side of this blade is too high because it's lifting the ruler so to adjust the blade we're going to loosen these two uh, bolt these two bolt the adjuster bolt okay after loosen the bolt now i able to lift the blade with my finger so uh, the next step is we're going to uh, line up when this uh, blade is loosened we're going to line up one side of the blade after that just tight that side and go to the other side actually the process a little bit tricky it's not as easy as it looks you need to uh, uh, trying a uh, few time before you uh, make a uh, right position for your blade height and after each side uh, the blade is already lined up with the best best plate now you going to uh, check it again and make sure your blade is just touching the ruler is not lifting And after all setup is done, now it's time to put all together, including this uh, blade cover. And all is done. It's ready to go.
okay guys i think uh, that's it for today i hope you guys enjoy the video and find this video informative to you and i will see you again on my next video and bye bye cheers <laughs>